Good morning everyone, today is day 20 of Vader and people are infuriating. This morning I spent the last two hours chasing up payments for people's invoices and during this time I'd sorted out a certain number of invoices and got back to them specifically. Then I sent out a mass email out with rosters to confirm and points, housekeeping points for the campaign, which one of the points included payments and what's happening with payments specifically. Now, in this hour that I've put out the email, I've had a number of people following up their invoices and I've had to go back to them saying, do you not read your emails? There's a whole paragraph addressing the whole invoicing payment factor. Just the fact that I spend so much time writing emails to put every bit of information in there that no one reads is really, really frustrating. There's a reason why I put I, I write so much in my emails. I don't write it for fun. If I was doing it for fun, I'd be having fun. Do I look like I'm having fun? No. Oh, some people are really, really dumb. Read your emails before you write anything back. Please. If you're going to do anything with your... What's the point in having an email if you're not going to read it? <sighs> Done. Vent is over. I don't have anything planned for the rest of the day. I think I'm just going to finish up my washing. And then I have Zumba and Pound tonight in Liverpool. Let's see what the day brings. It is currently 3.21 p.m. And this is the current weather situation at the moment. So it's really windy and it's really grey. And chances are it's going to rain. I... Look, he's skating. Oh, he almost fell. I am now getting ready to go to work. All I've really done in the last few hours is cook my meat. And had lunch. And that's it. So... I... I almost fell asleep, let's be honest. I almost fell asleep. I'm now just getting my stuff ready to go and then I'm gonna go over to Liverpool. I should buy petrol, but I can't afford it at the moment. And I need to buy some more moisturizer when I get to Liverpool as well. But we'll see how we go. Whenever I park my car up this way, I always forget which street it's on it's because there's always two streets that I park in and I can never figure out if it's the first one or the second one that I always park in so I'm, I'm already having trouble figuring out which one because I parked it yesterday morning I'm so bad with memory I don't even remember what I did an hour ago let alone where I parked yesterday morning what I want to know is do you do the same thing I call it driver syndrome where you always forget where you park when you're the driver but when you're the passenger you always remember where the where the driver parked so let me know down in the comments box below because I hope I'm not the only one there is it down here uh, I think that's it let's just go here anyway and have a look nope it definitely was not that one so I'm heading back to the street that I was on going the next block over because I was definitely in the wrong there I thought I was wrong, so I went back down the same street, and I was wrong. Because I thought I was right, but I was actually wrong. I, this just got a, a whole lot of confusing. The next street over, so I'm heading that way, so I can go get my car. <sighs> it always freaks me out because I start to stress, like, what if it's been stolen? What if it's been hijacked? Like, oh my god. So... Let's go find my car. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> but I found my car. It's over there. So I'm gonna go get in and go to work because I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> this day just is just so pooey. It's just one of these days where I just wanna like crawl into bed, which I've been in all day mind you, and just like hide for the day. I just think the world should just get into its man cave and just stay in bed for the day because no one is happy. I'm gonna give it a go. Try it out, and then store it in the fridge, in the mason jars, for dinner tonight, because I'm getting home late. So, oops. I'm very, very full right now. I ended up smashing a half a bag of um, corn chips. Blender. Oh, okay. So, class turned out to be really, really awesome. For Zumba, I had about 38 people. 
so that was really packed and a lot of the newbies were like yeah we love your class we're coming back so that's awesome to hear in pound there was 18 people so that was really awesome as well about five to eight of them were new so that was really cool the class was really really good i was naughty and bought some fried chicken but how could you say no to 10 pieces for four dollars come on so i bought chicken and some Iraqi bread, so, yeah, that's always good. Just went through some of my emails and some people are just so unreliable. Today is such a people hating day. I was, I just what, want, today is just man cave, man cave day. Just gonna go into my man cave. So yeah, today's gonna be a short one. Apologies that it's such a negative type video, but I am going to go home and enjoy my smoothie that I've got waiting for me. So I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.